Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Star Trek Warp Onyx campaign, uh, the tales of security Lieutenant Archibald. And um, let's go ahead and dig in. So this was a very exciting uh, session. So at this point, um, Security Lieutenant Archibald has has chosen his away team. It's him, it's um, Mayweather, and it's T'Pol, and they are going back to the Ion Storm to get Eustace, this Martian miner, uh, this 15-year-old boy who's a Martian miner, the son of a Martian miner cartographer. And he got lost in the Ion Storm. Now, he is either dead or alive, they don't know which, and so they're going back to find out, right? So, um, so first of all, they have to take their their shuttlecraft can't go back to the ion storm because it's just too far. So we um, so we actually introduced for the first time Commander Thylek Shran, and so his Andorian ship comes and picks up the shuttlecraft, and then takes the shuttlecraft to the ion storm, and then puts them out on the other side, and then they go. But at this point, Security Lieutenant Archibald. Um, Mayweather and T'Pol have have all met Commander Thylek Shran, and you know built a good rapport with him, and they, they know him as an ally now, right? Uh, and he's Andorian, and he was also on the show. It's an Enterprise uh, Star Trek Enterprise series. So at this point, um, they head off to the Ion Storm, right? So the first thing they do is they get to the Ion Storm, and I, you know. My gold player, this ain't his first rodeo, right? So the first thing is I introduce a ship, uh, a starship, okay? Now this star starship's about 50 feet high, 200 feet long, and I was really excited about this. So one of the things, this is an online, um, an online campaign. Uh, we use Google Slides and we, um, we use Google Slides and we call each other on, by telephone, right? And so we don't have any uh, we don't have a live camera feed, right? And so it's just audio, and and we use Google Slides to do as our VTT, which actually I have my own VTT. Um, and uh, if you go to my um, my my site, you'll actually see my VTT like defined. If anybody has any questions on that, just hit me up in the comments below, and I I can show you where it is. So it's really fascinating. So I wanted to, so I want, I wanted to introduce this starship, right? But I love Legos, and you know, in my physical table games, I use Legos, but I couldn't use Legos in my um, online game, right? Like, and I'm like, oh, this is a bummer, right? But then I was like, oh my gosh, I need a ship, right? And so in order to get my, you know, the image that I presented in Google Slides to my player, I actually. Um, presented a Lego ship, right? Now, the nice thing is, generally, uh, and actually, I thought, I so so I presented a Lego ship, and it was a custom-built ship, which I, and they just put the picture right into the Google Slides, and I was like, this is the ship, right? And then I was also able to say, you know, that Lego stud, right, is uh, 20 by 20 feet, right? So to give a scale, right? And I really love this, and it was a way to incorporate Lego in an online campaign. So even though you're using, uh, even though you're doing an online campaign, that doesn't mean you can't use uh, Lego Dungeons and Dragons or Lego, Lego Dungeons and Dragons, or, um, well, at this point, in my opinion, all Legos are Dungeons and Dragons Legos. It's like, yeah. So I was very excited about that. So we get there and this, this got wild. I've never seen anything like this, uh, what happened next. So first of all, they come across this ship that is orbiting the ion storm. So my gold player was like, uh, and I was like, so do you hail that ship? Oh, you guys are coming in, you see him first. He hasn't scanned you. Do you guys hail that ship? And he's like, no, we're, and, and Mayweather's like, I got it, I got it. So Mayweather goes in perfect, perfect synchronous orbit around the ion sphere and makes sure that the other ship never sees them, right? Now this was painful for me because I had, I had a whole adventure like, you know, it was going to be this adventure and then the ion storm, but they completely, you know, circumvented that and dealt with, you know, and did not have to deal with the ship I presented. Then we, I was like, okay, you guys get in orbit and do you give a half a shift or you give a shift for them to do the scans? And he's like half a shift, 
which he then pushed to a full shift after he heard the odds. So T'Pol does all the scans, right? And T'Pol says, okay, here's the deal. First of all, we need to breach, we need to breach the ion storm. We, we need to get into the center of the ion storm. And the way this ion storm is structured, uh, all the danger is on the outside edge, right? Like, and, and, but it's a pretty thick edge. It's like, you know, a couple hundred kilometers in and it's extremely dangerous. So Mayweather is gonna need to perfectly navigate the ion storm's dangerous edge, right? And that can kill us, right? And so then I broke it down and I was like, okay, so she gives you a bunch of charts, but you as a player know this. It's gonna require four successes. And I, and I need you to understand this, right? Uh, so this role is gonna be done by Mayweather, not you. You can't even, you, you're, you know, you're a security officer. You can't, you have no ability. Like you have, you, if you tried to do this yourself, you probably have a 1% chance, right? Like you just can't do it, right? Like, um, well, you could try, but 99% chance you die, right? Um, the only person who can properly do this is Mayweather. Mayweather is going to make the roll, okay? And I need you to understand this. If Mayweather makes three successes, there's no damage. To the, it, we don't roll damage to the ship. The ion storm will tear the ship apart and you will all die, period, end of sentence. So we're going to make this roll and I'm actually going to make the roll. I'm going to, now we'll do it together in our, we have a shared roller, right? Um, and, and it's, it's visual, right? And it actually shows the role, right? And I'm like, we're going to make this role together. And I'm telling you right now, like if it, you know, you need four successes out of five, five is the maximum successes you need on any task in Star Trek adventures. And I was like, Hey, if you, if you get three successes or two or one or zero, you die. This campaign ends tonight, finished. Literally that's the end of the campaign, right? Your character is dead. T'Pol is dead and Mayweather are dead. And this ship is torn into a thousand pieces. Okay, just want you to understand that, right? Like, and, and the reason why is I love this. I, I don't do it too often in the game, but I'm like, I need you to understand the life of your character is on this role. You need to understand that, right? Very clearly, right? So I thought, so, so, and then, so at that point, I'm not kidding, we spent 30 minutes, right? And basically, he he got it down to the point where he could supply an advantage to uh, to Mayweather. Uh, so Mayweather was starting with two two d twenty. Then and 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 by the way, I can't buy dice for and I can't buy momentum for good aligned NPCs. Right, that's the difference. So he just gets two d twenty, and then but he he does have his focus right. So with those two d with those two d twenty, it's actually possible for him to get all four successes, right? But he would have to, he'd have to roll like a two and a two, right? But then he would do it, right? But if he rolls a 19 and 18, they all die. Everybody dies, right? Like, um, and so then player character um, Archibald buys an advantage, get, gets him up to 3d20. And then I was like, okay, now he's gonna roll. And if he doesn't make the roll to breach successfully, right? You can assist with one die but you cannot use determination on an assist, right? So you can only roll one. So if he gets three, then you need to get a success with the same type of roll, which you're not good at. It's probably, you're probably only gonna have a 50-50 chance, right? But then you can get one more. But if he if he rolls two, you're we are not even gonna roll your roll because you can only get one success. So if he rolls two successes, everybody dies. If he rolls three successes, you roll one assistance and if you make it, everybody lives. If you fail, everyone dies, right? And then, I, so I explained that to him. And then I said, then once you get through, to Paul has also explained that on the other side, there's only two paths, right? In there's only two paths in the in the ion storm. There is the Eustace path, the path to find his body. And she says she has already detected that Eustace is in. Uh, is in the storm, but she can't tell if he's dead or alive. She can just get a DNA trace, right? So she has traced that his living silhouette, because the DNA is probably antiquated for them, but his living, his his the silhouette of Eustace is in there. She and and it is Eustace. It's not you know some other person, but she can't tell if he's dead or alive. So there's the Eustace path, and then there's also the temporal, the spatial temporal rifts, rifts. So throughout this entire thing, there are spatial temporal rifts, <coughs> this ion storm. 
And if you go in, it's just a 50-50. Mayweather's, Mayweather will not have any ability to avoid one of these spatial rifts uh, if he doesn't find the Eustace path, okay? So it's 50-50. So even if you live, there's a 50% chance you will be taken to another space and time, okay? And then, so you gotta, you gotta live, and then you make a 50-50 roll to see if you get the Eustace path or the spatial temporal, um, uh, or the spatial temporal rift, okay? So here's what happens. Um, so basically, uh, he he understands the roles and the and the gold play and I was like you're the commander here like you're in charge on this on this away team right so you could say no the danger is too high we're not going to do this right and then that's it that's it like that's the end of the and then you take your space uh, and actually then the you know and you guys just go back to the enterprise the next year if you want because there's a really good chance you guys are going to die or you're going to end up being separated from literally your own space and time right. He's like, nope, we're here to do the mission. We're going to do it, all right? So we make the roll, and Mayweather crushes it. His assistance is not even used. Uh, with three dice, he's able to get all four successes. And he gets through, and they get they breach. And then we do the straight-up 50-50 roll, and they find the Eustace path. Eustace is alive. He is on the edge of one of these special spatial temporal rifts. And so the reality is going into the Iron Storm should have killed him. Right, but the reason it didn't is one of these um, temporal rifts was going one second for every ten years. Right, so he's just kind of frozen in time, and he's still in his sealed suit. Right, and if he hadn't gotten into this exact rift, he would have been lost because too much time would have went. Right, but they snatch him out with a cable, pull him into the spacecraft, and then at that point they're a uh, they are able to punch through the other side on the, on the ion storm, and they're even able to avoid uh, scanning scanning by that other ship. They punch through the other side, and then at that point, um, they they are a rendezvous with the Andorian ship, and Thylex Shran says, "Okay, you know, you have this boy. I understand. Uh, Captain Archer has told me the situation. Um, do you want he? There's three places that that boy can go: back to his home on Mars, where he wants to go; back to Saturn, where Starfleet made a deal to take him, uh, and I can I can take him there in, on my ship, right?" Or finally, he can go back with you back to the Enterprise NX-01, right? So Archibald is like, Starfleet's got to keep its commitment. These, these, these maps that we got are just too valuable. Uh, and so he says, right in front of Eustace, he's like, I'm sorry, Eustace, you got to go back to Saturn. So he sends Eustace back to Saturn. Uh, and Thylex Shran ar arranges for another Andorian ship to take to Paul Mayweather and Archibald back to um, back to the Enterprise NX-01, um, where Archibald arrives, mission accomplished, uh, and Starfleet's mission, not only Enterprise NX-01's accomplishment, but literally Starfleet's accomplishment can, uh, done. And Mayweather and T'Pol are best, best buddies now, because they've survived trauma bonding, right? And, uh, they survived together, and Archibald is massively successful, fantastic, amazing session. I was so excited to do it. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion about Star Trek Adventures, Star Trek Adventures, Modifius 2D20, Warp Onyx Campaign. Uh, the important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a fetch millennium.